Alright, so hi everyone. Today's episode is gonna be probably like mostly just like yesterday's. Like we just have some more trainer fights to do up here. We gotta work our way over to Bell's as the next part of the plot. Like uh, there's this guy called Bill up here, and we just like have to see him because we do really. It's not really well motivated now that I think about it, but. That is the plot here, and of course there's just a bunch of trainers in the way. Because I need something to like, pad out the game with, I guess. Uh, I guess, uh, if Fulney is going to be on our team, you should, uh, lead our team. Going into this fight, these fights. Okay, I don't even know how everyone's like, positioned here. I didn't check how much money I have. We, we should be able to win this, though, right? I can always just restart the episode and not tell you. That is a sprite and a half for the Machop there. Um, we'll use Yalus and Pivot if we need to. Because he's only got two Pokemon, so... Yeah, it's fighting, right? So double kick will be... I don't like that. Yeah, I don't think we can outpeak. We got two crits, which is good. But, uh, that's not good. I think we're just- I feel like we're just gonna potion, maybe? I'll try it out here. Yeah, it's starting to do less, you see. 32. Right, we're taking 9 damage, so we can at least do one more. And that's really not doing a whole lot, is it? Alright, we're getting bad luck here. We're just gonna pivot out. Vlea is the uh, lowest, so... You will be a pivot. Sorry, Vlea. I guess we can try sing stalling. That's yeah, doing like 14 damage, is it? And there we go. I guess, um... We'll switch straight to Neuralus, I guess. And, it, like, they can't move even when they wake. They can make up on turn one in this game, but they can't move on turn one. We won't be able to, um, Thunder Wave it while it's asleep. Because they can only have one stat at a time, but at the very least we can like load up on double teams and like look at its arms. Like why are they drawn like that? Alright, we've got two. Oh, we should see how much the Thundershock does. Alright. We've got a crit and see like KO. We had to split that a few ways so everyone levels up. I mean no one levels up. But someone did level up. Geodude, we're gonna wanna use, um, Banlash, and we will be using potentially, I guess we can use Vallea's Pivot since they're already worn down. Yeah, our fighting move isn't gonna do- oh, okay, that's great. Does Clear lower their defense? It lowers- yeah. I guess we can just manage it with that. How much does Double Kick do? Like, I know it's not... Oh, it is super effective. What was I thinking? Okay. Well, this should be an easier fight than I, um... What? Why did I think it would be not very effective? Yeah, okay, even if they Defense Curl again... This should be a KO. Poison Stick, okay. And Banlash is at level 17. So. Yes, we do. Poison Sting. Uh, tackle or Horn Attack? What does, um. Okay, I'll fast forward with this. Alright, so. I'll lift it up and tackle is just a worse horn attack. 
Little deer may seem... Okay, I messed up that menu, I got a little scared there. Leer may seem like a weird move to keep, but there are some... I guess it's just there for why not for right now, because it's... Tackle and Horn Attack is redundant, but... Now that we have Poison Sting, we can go ahead and let Banlash evolve. Alright, there we go, that's good. <laughs> that's gonna make Banlash a lot uh, better here too for our team, so... I think... I don't think Valet is gonna have much use aside from a pivot in the next fight. I said I was gonna look at how much money I have. I got nine bucks, I guess. At this point, we can start to afford to, like, taking risks, I guess. I think Valet is gonna be mostly used as a um, pivot here, so we'll go ahead and level up Yalus. And we'll try to get Yalus in evolution next. Alright, so we can go ahead and move on to our next fight here. Practice SWAT. That's, that's stupid, I don't know why I said that. I was trying to make a weird joke, but I couldn't figure it out in my head. Rattata and a Spiro, okay. We'll switch train phony. Sorry, Valea. Quick attack, I think I thought I was gonna KO there. Sing, okay, yeah. I should have saw that coming. Yeah. And this should be easy for Yalus. I don't know if having both Yalus and Banlash on our team is gonna be a good idea going forwards. Cause I don't know how different of roles they will take, but. Um, for the time being, we don't really have any, like, good candidates for replacement, I don't think. And so they can both stay on the team, at least for now. Spiro, uh, do we want to change? I... Hmm. I want to level up. I, okay, we'll, we'll switch train for me again. And this time we'll use um, Yalve, I think, as a potential, potentially as a pivot. Because I think we're, we're going to go back and heal anyway, since one of her Pokemon is fainted. And wow, that does a lot of damage. Unless Yalve outspeeds, I don't think... Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't think Yalve's going to get anything done, but... We can just do that, I guess. I might as well just set up. Okay. So we're both just gonna be crawling here. And then we'll run back to the Pokemon Center. One HP, Yalve is really hanging on there. Alright, Fury Attack. So now, and your list should be able to finish it off. Easily, like, I don't think we'll even need to stall, I think. One Thundershock should- okay, I didn't KO, but... It just uses Fear, and we have Speed, and we have Leech Seed, so... Is that Leech Seed based on your attack or something? I thought it did more, but maybe I'm just misremembering. That's a, our second battle. Got a bit more money, and I'm gonna have to run back to the Poke Center. Alright, and I think this is a good place to come back. 
I wonder why it switches uh, color when you add it on the block here, like on the bridge. Like normally for the towns, it's supposed to be like a color that represents the town, right? But, but I don't know what green it's supposed to represent here. Is it supposed to be like nature? Or... I think I'll switch out for this battle. This is an optional fight. But I think since we're just going to be slogging through fights today anyways... Let's see what, like, what the harm is, I think. So we are going to pivot. We're going to use uh, Valea again. I'm sorry. If you can sing it, you'll be able to live. That's some good consolation, I guess. It's doing like 7 damage, so we should be able to sing it. And I think the best suited Pokemon taking out will be Yalve. With the whole typing thing. If not, we can pivot again, but at the very least, we'll be able to get a Leech Seed set up. And we can try Vine Ripping and see how much... How much it does. And that... The, the turn of like, when Leech Seed comes in always catches me off guard. And that... That one-shots it really. Well, I guess we didn't need a Leech Seed or anything. Like, Yalve could have probably taken that hit. Just like, on the chin, so... I got like six bucks out of that too. Alright, uh, who are you? Are you the slowpoke? Who's a youngster? Alrighty, so... I think we're gonna do like the exact same thing we did last fight here. Switch to the lay. And then use, um... Okay, uh, so didn't get the confusion, that's good. Three... Two, two more tries, unless we get a crit. And there we go. Lay is being, like, useful, actually, aside from just being a pivot, even already, even though it's... Under level to the point where I'm not quite sure, like, how it's gonna be performing when it's full level. Now, I'm gonna take a chance here. I'm just gonna find Whip. I was surprised how much damage the Onyx took. Alright, so it took out like half with a crit. How much damage do we take, though, is the question. I'll risk it here. Yalve might die here, but. Yeah. Sorry, okay, I miscalculated that. The good news is, Slowpoke will be easy to take out now. Who do we want? I guess, yeah. It's really a matter of, like, who do we want to get the experience points. I think Gallus will be the best. He also outspeeds speeds too, that's good. And a crit, I don't think it mattered, but... Fulney gets level. Yalis gets a l well, they don't get levels, but they get experience points. So I beat, um... Do I keep going is the question. Like, looking at the state of my Pokémon... You know what, not a lot's gonna happen in this episode with a lot of these fights anyways. Let's go back in Poké Center again, and then just do two more, just cause, like... That's kind of just the vibe of this episode. Alright, and we're back here. I guess, yeah, we'll keep doing fights here. I don't know why I always look at my team before the fights. I don't think I'm going to switch anything up here. So, like, this fight is going to be a little scary, actually, because she's got uh, two Nidorans. It's 
but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm looking up what I don't remember. I'm not good with types off the top of my head, as you can probably tell. I guess we can just Yalve and Uralis stall them, potentially using uh, Vile as a pivot. Although I don't think Vile will be able to stall this out. I think. I guess they don't, wouldn't know the type of effectiveness for their attack, so if we can land this thing, if we get hit, I think we're just gonna die here. Or maybe not. Look at that. So we'll have a pivot for next time, too. Assuming we, um. Pull this off with Yalvagan and Yorlis. Was that. Was switching in Yalve a mistake? Maybe. It's weak to ground and psychic. Alright, it can't wake up and attack next turn. That's a good thing about Gen 1 being weirdness, but. We get a bit from the Leech Seed, so we can set up a double team start. And then I don't know if we'll switch out for the next, um, for the Nidoran. Like, I think. I think it's worth it just to keep Pikachu in for the uh, double teams. And Euralis, I don't know why I refer to it as, like, Euralis versus Pikachu. I don't know how much damage I'm gonna do, like, that's one thing, Poketubers always seem to be good at, like, oh yeah, this attack's gonna get us in this range, whatever. So now it's a week, we can Thunder Wave it. And, and of course we got, like, Super Hacks, that's what they call it, luck, I think, and... Let's see how much damage this does. Was this all a waste of time? Oh, no, not really. In fact, I would say, given the next one, we probably want to double team fully. And hit through. It only did 7 damage though, so maybe... Maybe I was being a bit over uh, zealous here. Yeah, okay. Okay, although I don't know how much damage that would have done. Everyone's getting experience points, nobody's leveling up. I think we'll just leave in your in for the, um... Because all your stat boosts that we got here with the double teams will go away when we switch, so we just need to keep in your else in as long as we can. I don't think that should be an issue. Even though it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be like a three hit KO, it might be a range, it might even be a four hit KO. Yeah. And we got hit double kick, how much does it do? Maybe six per hit. That's, um, not great, but I, I think I was faster. I don't think I needed the uh, quick attack there, but whatever. Now, what's the state of my team here? I think we um next fight is going to four level thirteens. If I'm yeah, definitely. So I think we just potion here and power on through. I don't know if, like, conserving them, not using them on, um... Vilea is smart. But I think for this fight, we're gonna use, um... Vilea as a pivot again. With the sleep, she's really good at it. And then we'll switch to, um... Not Banlash. We'll switch to Yalis, because Yalis needs to level up here. And going forwards, I gotta see whether or not we can keep both, or we should switch one of them out. That did very little damage, I noticed, to Vlea. I think probably because Geodudes aren't great in general. Singing lets us switch for free. Because of how Gen 1 works, I'm pretty sure. 
so we will be using Yalas for the level ups. I don't know whether or not continuing this first train is like worth it. Okay, that is doing less damage than I would like. Yeah, I think having the sleep status is gonna be a real help, so I think we will switch train like just for the sake of um Okay, so we do outspeed. I wasn't sure with the whole, like, asleep message whether or not that meant it outsped. But given that we got most of that through the opponent being asleep, I think we are gonna... Rinse and repeat. I don't know if... Let's lead with Fulney again. It's like really milk it, I don't know. They're not doing much damage to Vilea, so I think... I think we can afford this, right? Fulney needs some levels. See, that did 8 damage. We got at least, um... At least 2 tries, even if... It, um... Crits. And especially more if it just defense curls. I'll use Yalas. I'm a bit worried about how that those defense curls are gonna affect my um, damage output, so I think doing a growl will be worth it. Let's see those double kicks. Yeah, that's not doing as much as I'd like. I am not liking those defense curls, but um. We got it down to half health. It's just gonna have max defense, I guess. That's just something we gotta deal with. But and how much damage does it do? Yeah, four. Okay. We only need really need that one growl to get it down. Fulney's getting levels too here, so it is worth it. At least potentially. Machop, um, we'll switch train Fulney into Valea again, but we may use an Uralis against the Machop. I don't know what, um, I'm bad with types here. Are we the same level? Let's try out, uh, let's see how much damage Fulney can do, just like, because why not? How much damage does it take? That was a crit, that it's 17. We are in crit range, it's not likely, but we'll switch out to Vallea. Just in case, even though Vallea's probably not going to get the uh, sleep because it's going to be super effective. Or Vallea is beefy, that is possible. Yeah, it got a crit, I don't think that didn't matter, it was doing 10 damage. And speak to Flying Psychic and Fairy. Fairy does not exist in this generation, and the rest we don't have. Given the level difference, we'll switch straight to an Uralis. We will double team, starting with 11, keep that in mind for our stat counting. I'm not gonna fully, like, um, load up here on whatever you want to call this, but, like, how much damage do we take? Nine, okay. And those two together should be enough to win us the fight. We're gonna be in crit range after this next attack. Yeah, okay, uh, maybe it was worth it doing another delt team. That may have been a bit of a mistake. But it's fine. Geodude, we'll switch for the Geodude. We will use, um, Fulney again, and then we'll do our same switch strat to get, uh, Yalis. Uh, hopefully level 17, although I'm not sure. I don't think Fulney can do any attacks in this battle here. 
Oh, I switched to an Euros. So I don't know why I did that, but... Sorry, buddy. Looks like you're gonna- you're- you're our pivot. Oh, was- was Valeia fainted? I wasn't paying too much attention. I just picked Valeia. Yeah, Valeia was fainted. That's why I thought in Euros was Valeia. But here we can just double kick, and this should do... Yeah, it'll be a 2 at KO, but... Maybe not a 2 at KO anymore, but... It's not gonna do much damage. I'm gonna do like, what, 9 at most? Like 10? Get lucky. Or it's not even gonna attack at all. Alright, there we go. Now, given how, what my levels are at, this, these fights are a little, like... Kind of things. Okay, no, no you are not. One more level, buddy. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, buddy. You're less fainted. We're gonna... Okay, how many fights do we have left? Three. I think we'll save those for tomorrow. Like, as... As weird as this went, this was like a half hour. This has been around a half hour for me, so I think... I think we can call that for our, like, recording session for today, and then tomorrow we can... Tomorrow hopefully we'll get some actual, like, story progress, if that's what you're here for, so, like... You know, that'll be good. Everyone's leveling up at the very least, like... Haleia's... Haleia's starting to do stuff in battles, um, Yalus is almost... Ready to evolve. Like, I wanted to delay one more level to get the uh, poison sting, whatever move she lands. But, like, let's look at my stats here. I got 27 bucks. I got. I think that's a pretty good looking team, I think. All things considered. Five hours already, and we're like two badges in. I guess that's a kind of a realistic pace. My friends always beat these games before me. I don't know how, like, good of a pace I set in these games, but whatever. 